time, fellas? I went to Bedford last year, um, sort of around the new year, January time. Um, just mainly because we had sort of a very competitive t team here. Um, and I was new last year, so it took me a while to sort of establish myself uh, and break into the team. So in the meantime, I just asked uh, Wardy if I could go on loan to get a bit of game time, because I felt like that would be very beneficial to me. Um, and luckily, Bedford kindly um, said that I could come and, and get stuck in with them. Wardy and I have discussions around which players might want to go out on loan. I'll um, ring round a few of the clubs where we have discussions on what, what they might want or they might have contacted us to see if we've got any players. During the week, I would train here, um, try and do as much as I can, but also manage my load because obviously I'd be training in the evenings with Bedford and then myself and uh, Jimmy Little would drive up on the evening. Had a few uh, good road trips down the M1 together. Um, he was normally on, on the music, so and we had a good time, we made it fun. Um, obviously, it's not ideal having to travel away to play, but we made it work and uh, definitely got the most out of it. Really, the, play the players just want to play rugby. Ultimately, that's what they're here for. And if they can't get the game time at Ealing, we will we try and look to get the right opportunity for them, the right number of minutes within the season, or the it might be a period where they've come back from injury, and we need to get them out for that playing playing time. When we send a player out on loan to make sure that they're not doing too much across a week, we will try to limit what they do with us in particular. The one thing we do try to make sure is that a player still gets some involvement with us, so they're still learning our structures, our plays, and our coaches can still see them. After a player goes on loan, we'll usually uh, get the footage from that match. We'll then clip up their involvements uh, so we know exactly what they've done in the game. We'll take out some stats, but also share the match footage with coaches. Uh, and make a highlights package that we then share with the players in the team meeting. For all loan club sessions, we'll send the player with their GPS unit so we know exactly how much they're running and then to try to make sure that they're not running too much across a week. Specifically for game day, we'll always get in contact with them straight away, find out how they went, how many minutes they played, um, if they got any injuries, and then we can feed that back to the medics. So for me, it was more just about getting some, getting some game time. I feel like you can train as much as you want, but. Um, there's no better practice than actually being on the pitch. So for me, it was just about sort of expressing myself, having fun, enjoying myself, and sort of showing uh, the league and the coaches back here what I could do. Yeah, good, good example would be Ruben Bird Tulloch, who obviously talented player, um, probably wasn't getting enough game time for Ealing last year. It might be sometimes the pathway's blocked or they're trying a different system within the club. Um, he got the opportunity to go to Bedford, where he was pretty outstanding for them. Um, which, as we said, gives him that game time, but then he comes back probably fresher, better player, he's excited to go back in. And then, obviously, he, when we went into the Cup at the back end of last season, that's where he really showed his potential. Going into the Championship Cup, I feel like I um, had a bit of momentum because, obviously, I'd, I sort of was starting to get some regular game time. It's quite hard to sort of come in and out of games when you haven't played for a few weeks, so you get a bit rusty and it just takes a while to get used to the speed of the game. Um, so yeah, for me, it definitely helped me going into the Champ Cup. And then obviously I was involved um, in the last few league games of the season as well, and when we won the league as well. So it was nice to be a part of, of that little bit at the end as well. My first whistle, ball carry will go. On my second whistle, yeah, Keeners can then hit it. Okay, let's spread off the group over there. Just always remember, right? Emotion into system, emotion into system. Right, and that was good there. Eh? Is everyone really clear about what we need to do if anyone builds with that back corner? Happy? Good boys, good stuff. Yeah, obviously, great result down at the Manet. A uh, hard place to go uh, last week, but um, no, it's definitely good to be back on home soil. Uh, it's been a, been a few weeks now because we had a bye week the week before. Um, and I think we're building a lot of momentum here. We've had some of our best performances of the season at home um, and the crowds will always give us an extra boost. So now I'm really looking forward to being back at home. Yeah, so Bedford, um, obviously, they're a very attacking team, very dynamic in the loose. Um, we know that if we play loose and give them transition opportunities, then they'll be able to punish us. Um, so for us, it's just about looking after the ball, um, keeping to our structures, um, and hopefully if we stick to our game plan, we'll come out with the right result. Let's go, 
Sean. Yes, sir. Process, fantastic result, good performance, but just expect that's what we're going to get a lot of the time now for the rest of the season. Okay, we stick together now. All right, let's go have a beer together and we go again next week. Okay.